In this video, I'll show you how to browse the internet with your Samsung Smart TV. So the first thing is to take your remote control and even if it does not look like mine over here, you need to follow the exact same directions and it will work. So press the home button, the button with a house, and this menu should appear. On newer TVs, the menu will take the whole screen. And you need to navigate to the app that is called Internet. So mine is over there, it's the last one. It has a purple background with a planet and it's written internet under it. Once it's highlighted, press the enter button, I mean the middle button here between all these arrows. If your remote control has a circle, simply press in the middle of the circle. To navigate on this web browser, use the arrows or again, if you have the circle remote, use the circle. It's a bit awkward, to be honest. Uh, it's not as using a mouse, but the good news is that you can actually connect a mouse to your Samsung Smart TV and a keyboard to make everything much more easier. So if you want to know how to do this, uh, check my channel. I have made a video just about that, showing you exactly how to do it. But if not, just with the remote control, you're able, you're able to use it as well. It's just more complicated. If you want to type a website, you just have to press arrow up until your uh, small cursor is above enter URL or a keyword, tap the enter button and now you have to enter letter by letter your website and this can take a bit of time. Just like any other web browser, you can have multiple tabs. If you go on the top left corner here and you tap the plus button, you can open many tabs, many websites at the same time. One thing that I recommend is that you create a few bookmarks. This way you don't have to type the website every time you enter this web browser. You see, if I go over here where it says bookmark and I tap enter, I'll get the bookmarks that are by default. Uh, there's a good chance you do not want them necessarily. So there is a remove all button over here that you can click and it will remove every bookmark and you can create your own. To create your own bookmark, it's very easy. Navigate to the website you want um, to create the bookmark of. And then on the right side here, you see there's a small star. You go above it, press the middle button. And now you have two choices, TV local and Samsung account because you can have bookmarks that will be synced with your Samsung account. So if you have multiple devices or let's say you want another TV, these bookmarks can be transferred to the new one since you're, you will be logged in into your Samsung account on the other TV as well. But you can also simply save those bookmarks on this TV only. And this is what I'll do. I'll select TV local and the bookmark has been added. Now, if I'm going to open a new tab and I go over bookmarks over here, I'll have the website I just bookmarked in this list. And I can just simply press the middle button here and it'll bring me directly there without me having to type anything. There's also a incognito feature, just like on Chrome. You can select this icon over here, open a new secret tab. This simply means that uh, you can go on websites and it will not be registered in your history. So no one can go back and see wh what website you browsed while you're on this secret tab. And talking about history and other settings, well, you can go and check them by yourself over here on the top right corner where it says Internet Menu. And here are going to have all the other settings about this browser, many things that you will not necessarily need, but it's good to know that they are there. If you go into the settings of this Internet browser, you're going to have more options over here including a parental lock. So if you have kids and you don't want them to browse certain websites, you can go over there. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.